I remember sitting in the gym for an assembly one day back in elementary school. I think I was in the fourth grade at the time, so I just started playing the cello. The night music program came to play for us. Each group, the band, the chorus, and the orchestra all performed a featured piece for us. I don't remember what piece they played for us, but I remember just sitting there in awe. They sounded so good, and watching them play and move with the piece, it just was so beautiful to watch. It was that day that made me decide that I wanted to keep pursuing the cello. That and my cousins made me do it because they're also in the orchestra. Hello everyone, my name is Daniel Valio and I'm from the class of 2018. Welcome to the Nike String Program. The Nike String Program consists of two groups. There's the String Orchestra and the Chamber Orchestra. The String Orchestra is open to all string players. The String Orchestra meets daily to study performance as well as standard string orchestra repertoire. Students are exposed to music from a wide variety of periods, from Baroque to contemporary through performance, listening, and score study. What's nice about being in this class is that you're part of a big group of students. Big enough to have two separate classes which come together when it comes to performance time. I remember when orchestra used to be only one class and now that we have two, it's awesome to see that we're growing. Now the other group is the chamber orchestra. The chamber orchestra is an ensemble for the most advanced string players. Music study to perform consists of the most challenging pieces included in the standard string orchestra repertoire. This class requires you to audition. Information about chamber auditions will be addressed by your instructor. Now back to string orchestra. Let's go over what's expected. Here are four things you need to be successful in this class. One, be punctual. Please be ready to play. Students are asked to arrive to class on time. When the bell rings, it's time to go through the morning routine. Students will take their instruments and sit in their respective sections. The orchestra will then tune and attendance will be taken. Then we'll warm up with a scale and a piece. Once that's all taken care of, the class can go on. Two, be prepared. The materials needed for this class are instruments. Violins and violas are expected to bring their instruments to and from school on a daily basis. They can be stored in our lockers. Cellos and basses, however, are provided in the school. Rosin. Helps the bow grip the string. Someone stole my rosin. Violins and violas will need their shoulder rests, and cellos and basses, you'll probably need rock stops. It is recommended to get a tuning app. The tuning app I use is called ClearTune. It costs about $5. It's so simple, and it'll help you in the long run. You'll also need to bring your music every single class time. Make sure it's nice and taped. Now, the most important thing you need for this class, for some reason, everyone has this in every single class, except for orchestra. A pencil. A pencil is good to have on your stand at all times because you never know when there's like a part that's really hard so you gotta mark it up. You can help mark fingerings, you can mark some notes up, and whatever the instruction needs to tell you, you can also mark it up there. 3. Be respectful. This classroom is home to many instruments, and those instruments are expensive. So it's important to keep this place clean. Food and drinks are not allowed in the classroom, with the exception of water. Phones are not allowed with the exception of the clear tune app that I told you about. Sit quietly when another section is playing and when the instructor is speaking to you. Our fourth and final point, practicing. Practicing is very, very important. Practicing is the process of getting closer and closer to your musical goals. When practicing, you take elements that you find difficult and by carefully playing them, they become easy. Once practicing becomes second nature, playing your instrument becomes a lot of fun. Also, those playing assessments ensure that you're practicing at home, which is why they're assigned weekly. Take these playing assessments seriously because you can't make them up. That seems about it for class expectations. Let's show you the practice rooms. These practice rooms are available to all students in the music department. Simply ask one of the music teachers to give you access. These rooms must be kept clean, so no foods or drinks are allowed in there. 
with the exception of water. These rooms are meant for practicing and practicing only, so no hanging out or eating lunch there. They're named practice rooms for a reason. All right, guys, one last thing to cover. After all those hours practicing at home and at school, it's time to show off all that hard work. Our hard work pays off when we play at concerts and competitions. You all should recognize that festival. It's the one concert you go to every single year, ever since you went to elementary school. The one concert where everyone in the Rockland community that's a string player comes together and showcases one piece from each grade. At the end, everyone comes together and plays one big finale piece. But yeah, concerts and competitions are a time to give your best performance. We have the winter concert, the spring concert, and we have the Jamerson Festival. For competitions, there's music in the parks where we go to a theme park after performing for today. And we got, of course, NISMA, which is held at NYU. This was a fun one because we get to go to the city for a few hours and after we perform, we get to roam the city of New York. Now on top of playing your best, you gotta look your best. Guys, black socks, black shoes, black pants, black belt, black or white long sleeve shirt, black bow tie or tie, and a black suit jacket. For girls, black long dress and black shoes. Short dresses won't be okay because when you sit and you're on a high stage, you, you know what I mean. <laughs> well, that seems about it. I wish you guys the best of luck and to have a lot of fun. Personally, String Orchestra provided a break from the traditional classroom setting. I love playing the cello, and playing the cello really taught me to be more confident in myself. And a lot of the pieces are fun to play. If you have further questions about this class, feel free to ask your teacher. I'm Daniel Balio. Thanks for watching.